I want to talk about image optimization because I care a lot about page speed performance and I do believe that your website should deliver exactly what you or your client is trying to achieve for your particular audience. But sometimes you still have to bear in mind, you know, your page speed, the lag, the bloat and how your website looks. Now, when it comes to image optimization, there's tons and tons of solutions out there. But I want to do a comparison between bulk resize photos, which is what I use quite a lot, EWWW, which is an optimization plugin, Optimal, which is another optimization plugin, and WebP Express as well. And when you might find a need to use them, and what are my recommendations, which I'll give you right at the end. I wanted to keep this as controlled as possible. So the image over here is a two megabyte image from Canva, just stock photography, 1920 by 1080. Now, if you go and stick that image into your website or your WordPress media library, it is gonna be two megabytes, it is a PNG. Now, if I was to use bulkresizephotos.com, and it is so simple, you go in, you drop your image in, you say you wanna maintain the size, for instance, and you wanna convert it into a WebP. I normally go for 85% quality. That was super, super quick and easy to do. Um, but the downside to doing that is that you do have to do everything manually. Now, I don't consider that a downside, but some people might. I have found it to be really, really slick. Like I once dropped in over 120 images. It took about a minute to convert them, roughly a minute. It was about less than that. And then it chucks them over to your download folder for you. And it really does um, a streamline the size and convert it into WebP. But maybe that's not gonna work for you if you are in control of your website and what you're adding, bulkresizephotos.com is great. But if you have a directory or you have people who are submitting guest posts for your website and you tell them, make sure it's a WebP image, they might not follow that, especially on online directories where people submit their listings or products or anything like that or even a client and the website. I mean, I worked with someone where their entire website was over 10 gigabytes because they were just chucking in really high quality, huge images when the images were only meant to be that big on the page. And then they said to me, my website is slowed down. And I was like, yeah, because you're 10 gigabytes, your entire WordPress site now, sort it out. Anyway, that's one solution, bulkresizephotos.com. But if you have got online submissions, then you may want to use an installed plugin. Now, I've already mentioned there's loads of kit out there. But EWW, Optimal, and WebP Express are the three I would probably strongly recommend. They all kind of work in a very similar way where you'll have a setting that says, okay, every time an image is added, go and um, optimize it for me. Now, in some cases, some of them are really, really quick and you won't even notice a delay. Others, there's a bit of a lag. And this is why I think you need to consider how important or vital is that gonna be? Because if you've got an online directory and they add an image, you don't want there to be a bit of a lag or something that kind of messes up the application process. So let me now show you the results. Here are my five images or the original and bulk resize photos, EWW, Optimal and WebP Express. And at the moment, these are about 520 pixels each width each image at the moment. It's on a full width, yeah? So can you see any difference in quality? Not really. Remember, this was a two megabyte image and you're probably wondering, well, what did bulk shrink it down to? What did WebP shrink it down to? And I'm gonna show you the actual scores for those or the actual values in a moment. If I now pop it onto full screen, here's the original. So WebP Express actually was the slightly sharper one there. If we go back to bulk resize, can you see the teeth are not as sharp? The same with EWW and the same with Optimal as well. But you get down to WebP, can you see the sharpness in the teeth? I, I'm really sorry if you're not seeing this, but let's now just jump to the actual results. This is where it gets super, super interesting now. So you can now see the sizes of the images, basically. The original was two megabyte. Bulk resize photos shrunk it down to 31 kilobytes. Just process that for a moment. Two megabytes is 2,000. It was actually 2,000 and a bit uh, kilobytes. But we've shrunk down to 31. EWW was 48. Optimal was 29. And WebP Express was the sharpest of the images. But look at the difference in size. It's 88 kilobytes. Now, if you've got 10 of these images, your original would have been 20 megabytes. 
your bulk resize would have been 310. WebP Express would have been 880. So you have to kind of bear that in mind. Now, there is there is still something about why I wouldn't always recommend WebP uh, Express. And you can see that in the time where it's in red. It is slow. When you add in images, it takes longer to process. And if you are doing a bulk conversion of images that you've already got, by the way, EWW, Optimal and WebP, if you've got a thousand images in your media library already, you can go and do a bulk conversion. There'll be a setting, which is great if you're now doing this retrospectively. With bulk resize photos, you can't do that. You have to take the images out, shove them back in, make sure your file names are correct, make sure it's pulling through the right image. So there could be a bit of legwork there. However, bulk resize is the smallest. Well, it's not. Optimal is the smallest, sorry. But there was a little bit of noise, but you got the same level of noise with EWW and Optimal. But WebP was the sharpest, but size-wise, 88. And again, look, you've got to bear that in mind. That might mean nothing to a lot of people, but if you've got a lot of images, say you've got a gallery of 30 images that, you know, even though it's lazy loaded, they all appear, is that going to be a make or break? So in terms of time, uh, the first three was quick, WebP Express was slow. Is it automated? Well, I've kind of answered that. Bulk resize, no, nope, you've got to do it manually. They did say to me about six months ago that they were considering a plugin. I haven't heard any more about that. I hope it comes on board. But a bit like Tiny PNG, they also have a plugin which is not as good as doing it manually. But bulk resize photos floors Tiny PNG all day long, even when you do a manual conversion, especially with Tiny PNG having like a limit of 20. Whereas here, you can just shove in 100 and it does it all in one go. Now, in terms of quality, WebP Express was the sharpest one. We've covered this now many, many times, but it is slow and the size is going to be bigger. So again, balance it off with what you want. Now, in terms of cost, this is where it gets really, really interesting. BulkResizePhotos.com, it's free. It's manual, but it is free. Okay. WebP Express is also free, but it is slow. And if you're running an online directory, I'm not too convinced that you really want to be using WebP Express because it could cause problems. It doesn't always convert properly as well. Sometimes it skips images, um, which is really, really annoying. And then you've got to go back in and manually do it. Again, double annoying. Optimal is free, but only up to like your first 5,000 images or views. Sorry, not 5,000 images, uh, 5,000 views. So if you're getting like 50,000 visits, unique visits per day, the free version isn't going to work for you. You're going to have to pay something like $23 per month, which can be quite extreme for some people. But if you are making an income from your website, this could be a really good solution. By the way, it is really, really quick in terms of its optimization as well. EWW WW is also really, really quick as well, but there is a charge of $7 per month. Now, if I was going to make a decision between what I was going to go for, and this is where I'm now closing up, here's what I would do. If I had a few images, or it was my website or a client's website, and there might be the odd image change per month or whenever, you know, three or four images per, you know, you know, you know, the odd one for blogs and stuff like that or it was a very controlled environment where I know exactly what I'm adding. No one else is contributing. It's just me and maybe someone else. I would go for bulkresizephotos.com, seriously. Because like a lot of client websites, they're not changing images every day, every week. It might be every three or four months or something like that. Oh, we want to add something to our gallery or we want to change the hero banner. Fine, you know, five minutes here or there, you go and do your bulk resize photos and away you go. But if you were now going to have loads of submissions or changes, so many changes by the client or yourself, or it's an online directory and they're going to, people are going to be uploading images and you want your WordPress website, the minute it gets that image to just convert it without any lag or delay and the person doing the submission doesn't notice anything either, and you know the images that are being uh, uh, put out there now onto your WordPress website definitely are WebP next generation. EWWW wins for me. 
And I'm only basing that on the fact that when you pay $7 per month, it is unlimited images. Whereas with Optimal, the first 5,000 visits, so it's not images now, it's based on the visits, but quite frankly, um, what if you get like robots or bots attacking your website and suddenly you hit 100,000? There are ways you can get, you can still stay on the free with 25,000 visits, but then you gotta have an optimal badge on your website, which you may or may not want. So my recommendation is few and controlled, go for bulkresizephotos.com, because I love using that. Many or you know, loads of submissions coming in from third parties that you can't always control. EWWW, uh, it's only $7. By the way, though, if you do go to EWWW, you go to the website and you, you sign up, or when you register, they will actually give you a coupon code which drops the price to about $5 per month. And that's all you're paying then. So you can get it for a slightly cheaper price. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like this quick image comparison video. There are loads of other tools out there. I hope this helps you to make a much wiser, better choice about page speed performance and, of course, your optimization. Take care. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.